We are definitely, most certainly, living in new and strange times. Many things are taking place that have never taken place before. We have a worldwide pandemic. Gas prices are up, I believe. During this pandemic, two things are happening simultaneously. One, people are incredibly broke and can't afford to feed their children but at the same time there are many people making millions and even referring to it as a pandemic and that is just you know just the tip of a lot of strange things is there's climate change there is imminent feeling of war that may or may not take place all the time with every great nation doing like a um a dick measurement competition every couple months but besides all of that gucci is selling 12 dollar shoes Gucci is selling $12 sneakers. To be a bit more specific, they are selling digital try-ons for $12. Sounds a bit strange, yeah. The, the first time I heard it, I was like, what, what, like why? The $12 marker definitely highlighted the question as in, why are they doing this? What is the objective behind it? In addition to being a digital try-on, the shoe is also being titled as a non-fungible token, an NFT. And if you absorb content and podcasts the way that I do and the amount that I do while I aimlessly look at my desk office and work questioning the purpose of life, you come across this term a lot recently, especially in the past couple months, I believe. Definitely 2021. Maybe 2020, but more so with the Wolf of Reddit Street fiasco that kind of took place with GameStop. A lot of people are becoming more and more financially literate. So an NFT or non-fungible token is a cryptocurrency from what I read that are unique one-of-a-kind pieces that can be traded on a blockchain such as the Ethereum blockchain. In the simplest way I understand it, it's like a form of collecting and trading unique pieces, primarily digital Nothing far from trading Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, or strands of celebrity here, but just adding a digital aspect to it, such as video clips and digital art, for example. Won't lie, I don't fully understand this, or even partially understand the intricacies of this, so do not come to me for financial literacy. I will make you broke. I spend my money on garbage, I I promise you. Listen listen to me. You are not listening to me. (laughs) I get paid at 11 a.m. By 12.01, I have already budgeted how all my money is going to be spent. I, I do not listen to me. But the whole concept is still a bit strange to me because even if you own, let's say, the clip of Miguel drop kicking a female fan back in 2013 as he jumped off a stage, the artist still has some rights to that clip. Even though you own this unique clip, but even though you own this unique clip, there are many people with, let's say, copies of this clip just, you know, for free, just selling it around as a meme or whatever the case may be. So I don't understand the full details of NFTs. So Gucci is doing this in collaboration with Wanna, and Wanna Kicks is a sneaker try-on app where you could discover fresh drops of classical sneakers with the help of augmented reality. They have collaborated with a couple brands before such as Puma, Reebok, Snapchat, and of course, Gucci. The shoe is being sold for $8.99 on the Wanna app and $12.99 on the Gucci app. The company goal is to have unlimited quantity that are interchangeable between customers and to create somewhat of a trading platform or trading capabilities within these NFTs. As I mentioned before, this is not Gucci's first time trying to make AR try-ons. They actually tried this with Snapchat, if not last year, year before, but I do believe that it was sometime in 2020. And this is not anything brand new to enter the market because we've seen apps like Goat try to implement this within their servers before. So, what do I think of this? Ever since Gucci appointed Alessandro Michele in 2015, they have made an obvious and aggressive attempt to gain the attention and the clientele and a large portion of the market share of the younger audience, ages between, let's say, starting at 15 to 24. I'm just calling out numbers here. This is nothing shy of that attempt because the only person that I could see purchasing a 
NFT or a digital try on for $12.99 is a person that is you know juiced up on the whole reddit and stocks and bonds and shares and NFTs and cryptocurrency trend that is currently taking place and of course financial literacy is always a good thing especially with it being a trend that means many more people are getting into financial literacy and different forms of income and different ways to save and invest even myself this whole phase this whole craze that has been taking place has definitely impacted me like help me just look at things a little bit more i'm not going out there trying to buy nfts i don't care that much however it has impacted me and make me look at things in a different perspective i do think gucci and its you know mother brand caring caring is kind of taking advantage of this opportunity and trying to i don't want to use the word exploit does a bit too much but definitely trying to get a quick bag from children that see nfts and gucci and they may be into fashion and a bit of the financial literacy trend and definitely spend 12.99 13 or even nine dollars on the wanna app to purchase this shoe will this be successful i don't know i don't really think so but i i think they will get a bag from it i definitely think they will acquire a bit of a bag from this i was wondering how the try on would work though like would it be just with capris or shoes not shoes or pants that are kind of raised above the ankle or would it also work with let's say you have on cargos let's say you have on flares like how would the shoe fit the reality we live in because not everyone wears skinny jeans or capris or shorts all the time a lot of people wear cargos a lot of people wear flares a lot of people wear skirts even so i i, I would like to see how that fits within the model of their design i feel like a smarter thing and obviously i'm not here to give gucci any advice they have all the information all the knowledge and all the experts they need but with the current e-games esports trend that is also taking place simultaneously with everything else and you tend to see a lot more digital fashion collaborations with let's say louis vuitton and league of legends or anything along those lines i think puma and ninja yes puma and ninja i feel like it would be beneficial to have something like this on a cross-platform experience such as let's say you purchase the shoe for 12 dollars and then you could wear the shoe as echo in league of legends or then you could take it and you could wear it in apex or then you could take it and wear it in what, what games the kids play i i don't know you get the point i would certainly like to see what the figures come back as in a couple months and then i would like to see what they do after the figures come back uh, <laughs> let's say they make um let's say they make approximately about five million dollars or about eight million dollars and then they'd be like mm, yeah this is good all right cool and then you never hear about it ever again they just like yeah quick bag quick hustle and let's go this could this could very well be just a, a hustle from a fashion brand and they do it all the time whether it's selling t-shirts and selling small tokens and little trinkets they, they do it all the time so this wouldn't be anything far from what they are custom doing 